During the Romantic period, many standards of art changed. There was a shift in the painting style that became much more loose. One painting that really embraced the style during the Romantic period was Joseph Mallet William Tone and his painting of the Fisherman at Sea. His artwork has a cloudy and almost mysterious aura to it. Loose brushstrokes show the carefree nature of the Romantic period. The strong power of nature is shown in the movement of the water. Similarly, this loose technique is seen in the post-impressionist period by James Abbott McNeil Whistler in his painting, Nocturne in Black and Gold. I agree. Whistler's use of extremely loose brushstrokes adds a sense of mystery and confusion to the piece. Is that a ship in the background? Indeed it is, Sal. Could you explain the importance of that ship? Interestingly, the painting illustrates a specific event that occurred, which was a firework display over London's Crane Warren, so it can be assumed that the ship is where the fireworks were set off. Both paintings contain ships, but Turner's is more reflective of the Romantic period. Precisely. Turner's, while it has a misty component to the painting, the ship is clearly visible and not as abstractly shown. The mystery aspect is more prominent in Whistler's and makes the viewer look harder for the ship. Whistler's painting definitely reflects the post-impressionist period because in paintings, it was more about the experience of looking during that time period, which is why the abstract technique of the painting was used. I enjoy the technique and it definitely does reflect the view of fireworks from the human eye. Looking back at Turner's painting, during the Romantic period, artists often looked to Japanese artists and artworks for inspiration. As you can see, both the vast space in the painting and the illuminating lanterns on the ship hint that the artist was most likely influenced in some way by Japanese artists. I think that the painting also shows the Romantic time period through the power of nature. I agree, Sal. The power of nature really stands out in the picture. The similarities are outstanding in these artworks. Both have a misty aura to them and the use of looser brushstrokes.